Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and everyone's been asking, when are the Raiders going to address the defense? My answer, I don't know if they have yet to address the defense, but they did sign linebacker Robert Spillane. He was with the Pittsburgh Steelers last season. His contract details are a two-year, $9 million deal with $4 million guaranteed. We do, still do not know how the salary cap is going to be impacted in 2023 and in 2024, but coming up here on today's show, I'm going to tell you how he's going to fit with the Raiders linebacker room. I'm going to break down some of the numbers that he has put up throughout his career, and then we're also going to go over some PFF numbers. From the reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to the Raiders report, now's a really good time to do so. Our job here is to keep you updated, and we're going to stay positive. I know a lot of y'all probably had to go to Google to look up who Spillane was, because he was a very under-the-radar type of move, I thought, by the Raiders. But take that second. Hit that subscribe button. Breaking news here. Not only are we on here breaking it all down for you, but we are doing our best to keep that smile on because I know there's a lot of Raider fans asking, what the heck is going on? Last season for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Blaine, 79 tackles, one sack, four tackles for loss. And realistically, he's a run stopper. That's what he is. If you were looking for a linebacker that can drop back into coverage, this ain't it. To me, it's a rotational guy. If, if he's the third best linebacker on this Raiders team, okay. If he's the second best linebacker on this Raiders team, you're going to be pretty upset about that. And that's just me being as real with you as I possibly humanly can. When you look at some of the things that he has done, I think the thing that he's most notable for, honestly, he had a big hit on Derrick Henry. Like, Really laid him out, and not many people can say that they're able to do that. Splane is an undrafted free agent who played in 2018 with the Tennessee Titans, and then in 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, spent his time with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He has 16 career starts. All of those 16 came in the last three years, so split those up. That's the deal. Two years, $9 million, $4 million guaranteed. And you know I'm going to ask you. It's time to get the pens out. Grade the move right now. The Las Vegas Raiders sign Robert Spillane. Two years, $9 million, $4 million guaranteed. A, B, C, D, or F. The reason why, well, how about this? You're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break. Scroll on down. Let me know. My grade for Robert Spillane is... I'm going to say a C minus D plus. And the more, the more I look at this contract, the more I look at other deals that went down. David Long was two years, 11 mil. Leighton Vander Esch, two years, 11 mil. That means the Raiders gave Splane two million less and got a much lesser version of a run stopping linebacker. I don't know what Denzel Perriman's asking for. He must be asking for a lot more because to me, this is a move where you bring this guy in. He's, he's probably going to be your Denzel Perriman replacement. I, I don't know what to think of it. He is a rotational linebacker. He should not be an every down linebacker on your team because if you put him out there in coverage, he is. He is going to get exposed. And I'm going to continue to break down some of the numbers here. Like 2021, 20, 56 tackles, two tackles for loss. 2020, 45 tackles, four tackles for loss. I'll get into some of the PFF grades around Spillane, but before I do, today's show is presented by AG1. And shout out to today's sponsor. Not only do they promote happy and healthy gut health, they're going to help support your immunity. They're going to boost your energy. So let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you've been live on a show for like eight and a half hours. You take a scoop of AG1, it's going to give you that energy boost. It's going to really help you get the wheels turning again. So if you haven't already, go to the link that you see down below at athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. I gave AG1 a try because I wanted immune system support and wanted a supplement that tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. AG1 really helps me getting my day started, getting out of bed, especially after some of our shows. It's not easy. And I'm a person who likes and needs a routine. AG1 helps me stick to my healthy routine. Covering my nutritional basis for the day literally could be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. I also like it because it costs less than $3 per day. That's pretty good if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. It is a 
win-win. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Check it out. Link's going to be in the comments and in the description of today's video. So we continue to break down here the Las Vegas Raiders signing Robert Spillane at linebacker. PFF, they always do, I think, a pretty good job of at least ranking some free agents. He wasn't even ranked in their top 200 players in terms of free agents available. He was not on a lot of people's list because, again, didn't have all that much playing time. Entering today, the Raiders' linebacking depth chart was this. You had Perriman, who's a free agent. Jayon Brown, who's a free agent. Realistically, it was Divine Diablo, Luke Masterson, Darian Butler, and then... I, yeah, that's about it. To me, this is a move where you're trying to go cheap and replace Perriman because you don't want to end up bringing him back. The problem is Spillane's not even close to Perriman. Like, it's just truly not. You are hoping that by the time he gets his chance, he gets his shot to shine. And, you know, similar to what I would say Drew Tranquil got where he got his chance in 2022 and then he ended up being out to be a pretty good player. You get a run stopper here. We'll see if he ends up being a good fit in the Patrick Graham system. But as it stands right now, I would say the Raiders still have a need at linebacker. You, in my opinion, did not address your need at LB. You still need a coverage linebacker. Kaiser White, he left. He's no longer available. I'm hoping that the Raiders have a better plan to figure out here at linebacker. You need a defensive tackle. You still need a lot of pieces here on this defense. But... Let me know down in the comments here, what's the Raiders' biggest defensive need? Defensive tackle, cornerback, safety, or is it linebacker? This one continues to stay the same for me. It's defensive tackle. By the Raiders trading away Darren Waller, you saved $11.6 million. You need to start adding some players that give your fan base a little bit more confidence because it's a meltdown mode out there. McDaniel, Ziegler, I don't know what they're trying to do. The most positive thing that I can say about the Raiders adding Spillane is he didn't play for the Patriots. That's probably the most positive thing I can say. I'm going to be as positive as I can, but the emotion does sometimes get the best of you when you're just sitting there and you're hoping and you're hoping and you're hoping, and then all of a sudden you don't get what you want, and you've been sitting here waiting for essentially all day for a, for a move that gives this Raiders team a little bit of confidence here. So Raiders... Science Blaine, two-year, nine million, four million fully guaranteed. If you made it this far in the video, or if you're watching this live right now, please spam RO4L. And I know the people that are real ones are guys that always interact with me on social media, like Twitter, on Instagram, and as always, the dear, the real diehards are over there on locals. RaidersReport.locals.com. We're gonna continue to interact with the live audience here on the Raiders Report. So if you're watching this on a not live, pop in the show. We're going to be here. We're going to be hanging out like we always promised that we are going to do. Shout out to the nation. I'm hoping good times ahead. <laughs>